<laughs> I got two statues today. Let's, let's unbox. I just stubbed my toe. It's broken. I just stubbed my toe. It's broken. Ow. I can't even stop the video. What's going on, guys? Packages are coming in left and right. I'm super stoked right now. I'm gonna open up two statues today. I'm gonna try and do them as quick as possible because they're not that very big. They're kind of like the same size as the Sideshow Silver Surfer. Um, if you guys have seen any of the channel, you've seen some of my Dave Cave behind me. I'm a huge Marvel fan, but I'm a really big Power Ranger fan as well. And in this space of statues, there's not many Power Ranger pieces. So I'm really stoked to show you guys these two things. Um, I don't think we're allowed to say the names of like customs, so my last video I spoke about that I'm buying a lot of custom pieces, um, which is what I'm, I know it's not good for resale value, but mainly because a lot of the things I want are custom statues, uh, characters that I want are custom. So this particular company made a whole line of the actual Power Rangers. Um, they currently released red, white, pink, and they just released the blue one and the green one. Um, I missed the red one because I didn't know about the red one prior to. So they have red, pink, blue, uh, white, and green. Now, the green one's coming probably next year, but there's like a three-foot Dragon Zord as the exclusive, which I got because I'm a psychopath. And I honestly have nowhere to put it, so I'm actually dreading owning it. But uh, I am excited to own it. So hey, double whammy for me. So um, I won't blow up the company's name because I don't know what kind of lawsuits are happening nowadays with statues so i don't want to do that to anybody because the people at this company are super cool uh they have a really dope art box for the white ranger which i really like a lot the oh that is fire so this is their rendition of the power rangers which i really appreciate if you watched the last movie that came out i thought it was trash well okay i didn't mind it for what it was it just wasn't the power rangers but they give these really cool art prints. Um, this is the White Ranger one. This is their rendition of the Rangers, which I really appreciate. And I kind of sort of really hoped that, um, well, I hope that the actual next movie, they use, some, they use these people to reference their Rangers because this is a really cool design for the Power Rangers. Um, I am super excited about how they design these. The way the sculpt is, is really dope. Um, I'm really excited I was able to get a couple of these pieces. They remade the White Ranger. So this is actually the second run of the White Ranger. Uh, the first run was, I think, 60 pieces. And I believe this one might have been 60 pieces also. This is number... Doesn't say. Okay. Well, it does... Ryan, why are you even doing that? I'm so confused. What are you thinking, bro? Um... Okay, so it's a, like I said, it's a very simple build. Ooh. Oh my God, this is insane. Okay, this is really cool. Now, it, okay, I don't want to, let me, let me put it here, not stare at it too long. So it fits pretty snug. This is a really, really, guys, this is a really nice piece. Um, the detail of it is really cool. It's got a little bit of rust to it, like in dust, like he was in battle. Um, might be a little problem with some of the paint. It looks like there's fingerprints on it. Um, I'm gonna chalk them up to, it's not supposed to be fingerprints and it's supposed to be some battle damage because there's some dust looking on the piece, but really, really, really nice clean sculpt. Um, it has a bunch of attachments. The, oh, this is so dope. Oh man, this is really cool. I'll save this piece for last because that's my favorite. Well, my, I want to say it's my favorite weapon because I'm a big Green Ranger guy. Uh, as you can see down there, I don't know if you can see him, but he's down there, the big Green Ranger I have. Oh, yeah, you can. If I shift this over just a little bit. Yep, that's the Green Ranger riding the Dragon Zord's tail right there. Uh, that was one of 192 pieces. I believe I did a review on that on my channel. Oh, this is super dope. Okay. So there's, there's a couple things going on here. This is their rendition of the Morpher which I find really, really, really cool. Um, I do like when companies step out of the box and they do their own thing. Uh, I don't know if this actually has a place. I think it kind of just sits there. Um, there are a couple change outs here. 
Very simple, very small, nothing dramatic. Um, I'm gonna put them in my little box of change outs. So it comes with two change outs. It comes with uh, a left hand and a two left hands. Uh, it's either the open hand palm, like grabbing for air, or the fist, I'm gonna punch your mama in the face. So I'm actually gonna look at both. So I'm curious how that looks. So that, that looks cool. I don't know if that, that's, I'm pretty sure it's not what I'm gonna choose. And yeah, that's way tougher. And then I don't, maybe I don't understand this. Oh, I do. Okay. So Saba, this is their rendition of Saba. And I, oh, I don't know if I can show you too clearly. Uh, sorry, I didn't really move the camera right. There's, there's two Sabas. So you could have Saba in your right hand or the left hand. Um, I would assume that this is, oh, so you could either hold Saba like that, um, or you can hold Saba like this. Is that right? Ooh, that's that's a tricky one. You know what? I want to show Saba's face because I think Saba was what made the White Ranger really cool. But I think holding the sword up forward is probably the way to go because it's more of that, that cooler stance. So there's not much to say other than this is a great piece. Uh, I think it retailed for... After shipping handling, I think it was around a thousand bucks. I don't really remember because it was it was quite some time ago. Uh, the the actual um, group that made this were super dope people to work with. All around, they were just like really, really, really cool. They worked with the people. Um, there were some shipping issues. They were just all about it. They just they told us every step of the way what was going on. So great commissioner for the piece. Can't say anything bad about them. And I'm a part of a bunch of their other product line, so I'm really excited for that. And the next piece I got, which is another Power Ranger, um, there is a total of, you know what, let me see how many pieces of the White Ranger this was, because this to me is a little important for me. I feel a little bit special when I know how which number I got, and it doesn't show me. Dang it. Okay, so I don't know which actual one I got out of no, it doesn't say anything about that. I don't know if I like that. I would have really liked them to put that. Maybe that's because that's the uh, second run of it, so maybe it didn't matter to them as much. Now, the second one, and again, I'm not showing the art boxes, but they're very simple um, because the, the company's name is on it, and I just don't want to get anybody in trouble. If they see the video and they approve it, I will be more than happy to shout them out. Um, I know that... I think, Sa who is it, Sabian? Sabian? They, whatever the name of the company that runs the Power Rangers now. Um, I know Hasbro does all the collectibles for them, but I don't know anything else about, you know, licensing. I'd be lying to you if I told you any of that. But again, guys, you know, I, probably my biggest mistake in my collection is I'm going more towards custom pieces, and I do understand that custom pieces are not... Um, you know, the futures of a custom piece are not nearly as good as uh, that of a licensed piece. Don't get me wrong, I have a ton of Queen Studio pieces coming, a ton of XM stuff, um, but for now, ugh. Now, what's really cool about this, and I don't know if it pertains to this particular set, but the bases of all the Rangers will eventually attach together, and I'm going to make a little more room here. They are rather big which kind of sucks for me a little bit but i'm gonna make it work regardless i want to say these two connect like this and it it would make it seem like it does so i'm i'm hoping it does so we're gonna get kimberly out now i think i would be a little concerned if these two weren't made at the same time but because this is the second rendition of the white ranger um, I have a feeling that the the dirt look and everything they have going on, the damage look, yeah, they do. And it's actually really cool. I mean, it's a cool concept. I think there should have been a little more detail on the band. But what I like what they're doing with these that with these particular pieces is they're really making the the adoption of the suit more important to the body of the character, where obviously if you remember the show back in the 90s, the um, original Power Rangers suits, they were kind of loose, like a latex, 
Um, a company, I don't know where I put the box because I've been moving everything in Dave Cave. Hasbro released kind of like a uh, Hot Toys version of all the Rangers. It came in, it's actually right here. So it's a three zeros, the name of the company. They teamed up with Hasbro and they made this. It's This is the sixth set. It comes with a really awesome art box and it comes with all the Hot Toy looking pieces with the Green Ranger. So it's red, yellow, black, pink, and blue plus green um, before the Green Ranger turns into the White Ranger. So that was a cool box. I normally wouldn't buy, I hate Hot Toys. I don't really, I, I should say hate. I'm just not into them. Uh, so it's not really my cup of tea. But this particular piece, I thought was really, really, really cool. Um, it also has its own morpher. And I like this, guys. I think this is a really cool feature. So they have their own rendition of the morpher. And if you look, the morphers on their waist are more ingrained into their skin, not so much as a belt. I, the morphers are actually really cool, too. They got a little dust on them. The, the, the morphing tokens are, are also really cool. These are super awesome, actually. And I think, um, if I read correctly on their website, I think everybody had the first edition. They didn't get a morpher. Uh, now they get the morpher. So, very cool of the company. Um, this particular company, I would say, is a, is a lot... Uh-oh. We have a break. Damn it. Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks, that sucks, that sucks. I'm so upset that this thing's broken. I'm going to show you guys in a second. Listen, I, I, you know, whatever. Things happen. Things break. It's uh just, damn, man, that bums me out so much. I, I'm going to show you guys what broke in a second. Um, is this how it goes? I'm like so, so perturbed right now that it broke, so I'm not really even paying attention to this part right here. Um, how does it go on? Yeah, there it goes. So that goes like that. Damn it, broken. Uh, well, this has the head detached. I think it comes with two heads, it looks like. So I don't know the difference. I I'm, I couldn't really assume that there's much of a difference. So there's... I think they may have messed up. They sent me two identical heads. I don't... I don't know if there's a, does anybody see a difference? I mean, let's see if this one goes on here, it turns that way. If this one turns this way, it's the same thing. I, is there at all, there's no difference. Oh, one's battle damage maybe? Oh, okay, so um, not necessary, thank you. But there's so little battle damage on this that it, Unless I really looked at it, I don't think I would notice. Um, I guess it's cool. Uh, I don't see as much battle damage on the White Ranger, so I'm going to go with the clean one. Now, of course, you know, the most important part of this particular piece is broken. And that would be the bow, so I can't display it as I'd like. But, uh, I'm so bummed out by this, man. So, here it is in all its glory. The bow is snapped in half. Um... Dang, I'm sure I can fix it in some, dang, I'm so upset by that. It took so long to get this piece and and it's broken and it's not even like an easy clean fix, but ugh, it's not even gonna look good. All right, well, basically the bow would go here and then you'd, you'd just attach it to the hand, but I don't think it's, I'm gonna have the pressure to do that because it's, it's gonna snap again. That sucks. These things, these are things that upset you about statues, you know. You wait a year for some of these pieces, and then it's broken. But regardless, uh, it's not their fault. Unfortunately, things like this happen, and you just can't cry or spill milk, so you have to just move on and accept it for what it is. Um, there's another little package here. I want to call it little nubby wubbums, whatever they're for. But for the most part, other than that, guys, just an awesome piece. Um... Again, accidents happen. They're scaled great. They look great next to each other. You know low-key that Tommy was clapping cheeks over here. So good for him. Um, and yeah, oh, you know what it is? They, they gave this little, um, I guess there was something wrong with the magnet. So they, they said this on their website. They have to use this, this putty to connect the arm. I don't know. I don't give a shit. 
Um, really awesome pieces. Breaks happen. You can't do anything about it. Just got a call and hope they could do something for you. But super dope pieces. Uh, I can't tell you where I got them from. I don't want to blow up the page. I don't want to hurt anybody's uh, business whatsoever. They've got a ton of great pieces coming in the future. If you message me uh, directly, I'll pass you along the information. Um, again, they have the Blue Ranger coming out. They already have a Red Ranger. I missed the boat on that. They are sold out of the White Rangers, sold out of the Pink Rangers, and they only have the Blue Ranger coming out. I think they have a few left of those, and they sold out of all the Green Rangers. And the Green Ranger one is massive. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like the Power Rangers as much as I do. I'm going to keep showing these sets as they come. And, yeah, guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, contact me. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer. Um, I'm not the best YouTuber in the world, but I'm just here to show uh, a hobby of mine because all I do is work. <laughs> so, again, guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment below. Here is a quick close-up of Tommy, the White Ranger, and one arm Kimberly. She's uh, She lost that arm, Battle and Zed. Have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.